Hey guys, welcome to Random How To. In this tutorial, we're gonna be looking at how you can create a grid collage, something like this, using a free image manipulation software called GIMP. It's an open source software that you can download from GIMP.org, um, and it works with Linux, OS X, and Windows. Um, all right, um, already got a couple of files here for the collage that I downloaded from pexels.com. Let's go to, let's head over to GIMP here. And first thing you'll need to do is create a new file. So file, new, and provide the image size. I'm going with 3000 by 3000 and press OK. We got the file ready. The next thing for throughout this video, we're going to be using uh, something called grids to assist us in creating the collage. So for that to work, we go view, go show grid and the grid will pop up the next thing is view snap to grid so we can easily uh, move the objects around which which will snap to the grid um, which will make things a bit easier and after that you want to go image and configure the grid. so first thing first uh, the black color of the grid may not be very visible or the other images so you want to change it to something different I usually go with blue and after that you, you want to configure the spacing horizontal and vertical now because we are going going three by three grid I want to divide my image into three equal parts horizontally three equal parts vertically so for that uh, we'll go with 1000 by 1000 and as you can see it's already looking like a pretty neat grid. Okay, after that, uh, the next thing we'll do is create a new layer for our squares. Execute new layer, name it something like square. Make sure fill with transparency is there. Press OK. And after that, head over to the rectangle tool here. You can press R or just use your mouse to select. And then start dragging a square into the first square of the grid there we go once that's done um, we want to fill this square with, uh, with white color so if I hide the background as you can see there is no color here it's transparent so what you want to do is make sure that uh, you, you you have a color selected here white foreground or background and you can go add it I'll just go with fill with background color which is white after that's done, um, next thing we'll do is select and shrink. So we want to give some sort of border around this, right? It's the white color one. So usually I go with uh, five pixels, uh, but you can adjust it as you like. Press OK. And as you can see, it has shrunk a little bit. Next, uh, we want to fill this internal rectangle here uh, with a different color. Uh, I've chosen this 707070 HTML notation. It's a bit of a gray color, uh, but you can pretty much go with any other color you like. Once that's done, go edit. Make sure the selection is there. Go edit, fill with the foreground color, which is the gray color you can see here. And it should come up like this. All right, we're going to repeat the same process and do the rest of the squares here in the grid. So, first, make sure that you have nothing selected you can go select none and then start duplicating the layer that we just created so click right click on the square layer here and do duplicate layer once that's done uh, use the move tool here you can press otherwise M and move the square over the other side and we're gonna just repeat the process for the rest of the squares Let's start bringing the images in now, one by one. Uh, so we'll do the this square first, the first one here, uh, the top left one. 
you can go file open as layers so you want to open the image as a layer and say do this and I got some pictures here ready I'm just I just named them for convenience so I'm gonna pick the number one for the grid one and just press open all right now next thing we're gonna do is scale that this image that's come up here inside this square so first thing make sure that there is nothing selected uh, apart from this layer so you go select none okay so nothing selected and the next thing you're gonna do is press shift s for scaling or if not you can go to scale tool here and select make sure that you have selected the scale tool there are a couple of them here you can right click on this icon here and choose the right one so we're going to choose scale press shift or press shift s and then slowly bring this down here all right so you can use all these squares here on the corners and the middle to kind of scale the image and you can use this four square right in the middle of the image to sort of move it across so let's see and make sure that no spots are left on the corners you want to make sure that the image is filling up this grid the first grid completely and I'm just gonna make sure that it's coming in middle between that blue grid lines that you see once that's done press enter or you can just do the scale button here that's done all right looking good already um, the next thing we're gonna be doing is we want to see that white border over here so we're gonna be doing something called masking so for this to work you need to select this inner square first so what we're gonna do is go to your square layer uh, you can hide the image layer so that it's visible you're gonna go select by color or sh you can press shift o once that's done select here so as you can see this inner rectangle has been selected once that's done uh, you can make the image visible again make sure you have selected the image layer that we want to mask after that you go layers mask add mask layer and you want to choose selection the one that we just did and press add there we go we have done the first one now i'm just going to repeat the process with the rest of the square Right, so it's looking great, and as you can see, uh, our collage is ready. It's looking pretty nice. Um, you can. The next thing you want to do is probably export it, so as a, a JPEG uh, to use across the website or, or as a PNG if you like. The next thing you can do is go to File and Export, and choose your location just gonna choose somewhere here and export that's done let's go back here and look at our collage and that's it uh, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.